All right, so back in the warehouse here, and um, we have all our dynamics set up, which is great. But uh, as you can see, the scene's looking a little lackluster. So let's um, make it look a little more spiffy here by um, adding some environment light and uh, some volumetric fog. Uh, so there's a few ways to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a distant light. So right click, create, add distant light, and I'll just select that. And in the properties here, uh, I can do some rotation on it. Get that, get that cross light going on. Looks pretty good. I don't know, whatever. Uh, next thing I can do, and I can also switch over to uh, RTX inter Interactive Path Trace mode, which uh, is going to be a Path Trace render. As you can see, it when you move around, the denoiser is working, but as you stop, it resolves the image really quickly. And so you can play with that all you want, but I'm going to be in real-time mode here, which still looks pretty good. Uh, if I go into render settings now and I click on the ray tracing tab and I scroll down, I'm going to find indirect diffuse lighting. And what I want to do is set uh, the ambient light maybe to 0.1 and then uh, turn on enable indirect diffuse GI, which is going to uh, bounce the light around the room. And so that looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and... Um, add some fog. So if I come over here to my common tab and uh, just enable global volumetric effects, you can see some fog has been added into the room here and um, hard to see in uh, real time mode, but you can see we get a, a God ray effect here by doing that. And uh, if I go into path trace mode, it looks a little cleaner, clearer. Okay. And so I can even uh, press the space bar here to start my simulation. Ah, this doesn't look great in path trace mode because it's, the scene is constantly refreshing, so the, the uh, path tracer is constantly working. So I'm back here in real-time mode. And I can do that. All right, so I paused it. And now I'm going to go into path trace mode. And I'm going to turn off the distant light. All right, so you can see it's pretty dark in here. And I want this to be a little little brighter so we can see what's going on. So I could go in and up the intensity of the lights here. That's one way to do that. But I can also come into my post-processing tab under render settings and uh, just click auto exposure here. And that's going to make it a little bit brighter. And it's cool. You can see the, uh, the fog here coming out of the lights. Now you can also play with... Um, you can make it brighter here, play with this white point scale, turn it to five and it's gonna make it you know, a bit brighter. So you can see what's going on, just depending on your shot needs. Uh, I've changed back here to real time mode and you can see the, the auto exposure has really lightened up the whole room or actually it's this, uh, this setting here. So yeah, just feel free to play around with those and find the one that you like. So um, I've added the distant light. I'm going to get rid of that. And then under, um, at the bottom window here, you should see uh, environments tab. And under that environments is where all of your dome lights are going to be. So the ones with the play button next to them, those are all dynamic. And if it doesn't have a play button, it is static. So I'm going to add a dynamic light here, this cloudy sky, just by double clicking it. And you can see uh, our scene looks really good now. I'm going to adjust it though because I would like the light coming in from this side of the camera. So I click on the environment top node here in my stage and then down here we have a time of day slider. And we're just gonna 
get that kind of where we want it. And we can also um, adjust the longitude and latitude, and that will have an effect as well. So I'll do that. Looks good, and I can continue to play the simulation because it's been paused this whole time. Okay. I'll come over here, and you can see uh, we have... We have some God rays coming off of uh, off of the sun coming through here, which is really uh, helps sell the image. And of course, all of this again fully dynamic. Cool. And finally, uh, if we come back here into our render settings and we go to post-process, you can see there's a whole bunch of things you can play with. Feel free to play around with them. Uh, but what I like to do is I like to add some bloom. Yeah, look at that. Looking amazing. A uh, little, little too bloomy. So I'm going to turn that down to 0 0.1, but that will help, uh, that will help uh, brighten up the stage and just add a little bit of, uh, a little bit of glow to your scene. Okay, thanks a lot.